In this video, we are going to demonstrate the difference between the period of a waveform and the duty cycle of a waveform. Let's take a look at this existing circuit. We have an Arduino, and the Arduino is giving 5 volts and ground to a breadboard. We have an LED that's blinking, and the LED is permanently attached to the Arduino, and there's some code in the Arduino making it blink. And that is also connected to pin 13. And we have a wire coming out of pin 13 that goes across the breadboard and connects to the input of our virtual oscilloscope. And the oscilloscope is also grounded to the Arduino. And we also have two potentiometers. And the waveform that the oscilloscope shows and the rate that the LED blinks is going to change based on the position of the potentiometers. And that's because the Arduino is reading a voltage that's coming out of the potentiometers on its analog in pins, analog 1 and analog 2. The potentiometer on the left will let us vary the period of the waveform. So you see as I go counterclockwise, this waveform is getting wider. And that means the period is getting longer. And you measure period in time. And I'll explain what period means. So a period is the time it takes for a waveform to do one complete cycle. So if we look here, and we call this our starting point, the waveform rises, stays high, falls, and stays low. And at this point, it's ready to rise again. So this is the beginning of the next period. So from here to here is one full period. Now, if we click on the oscilloscope and we look time per division is 50 milliseconds, we can count how long the period is of this waveform. Let's just adjust it ever so slightly. Let's get it to line up a little tighter. OK, so it rises, it stays high for one division, two, falls, and it's low for two. So we see here that's 50 milliseconds per division, so 50, 100, 150, 200 milliseconds is the period. Now, what about duty cycle? Well, if we vary the potentiometer on the right side, we can adjust the duty cycle. And the duty cycle is measured in percentage. And it is the percent that the waveform is high compared to the total time of the period. So as we turn it clockwise, we see that it's high more and more and more. And as I take this all the way, it's high 99% of the time. That means the duty cycle is 99%. If I bring this back to straight up and down, the duty cycle is 50% high, 50% low. So the duty cycle is 50%. Here's a 25% duty cycle. And here's a 1% duty cycle. Now that you've seen the difference between period and duty cycle, I'd like to show you the inside of the code. Let's click on Code Editor. And here's the code that explains how the Arduino is producing this waveform. And you'll see there's a whole block of serial print lines here. And if we open the serial monitor, we see the output of our loop is being output on the serial monitor. And as I Let's move this a little bit. As I move the potentiometer and I make the period shorter, we see that the period grows shorter right here. And as I vary the potentiometer on the right and I make the duty cycle larger, we see that the duty cycle percentage is growing. And conversely, it will shrink if I move it counterclockwise. So there you have it, period and duty cycle visualized in 123D circuits. You can find the URL of this circuit in the description of the video. You can fork this circuit or save as for yourself. And you can go in and change the code. You can turn the potentiometers. Have fun with it in 123D circuits.